these are some of the things that people don't share with you, okay? If you love your vehicle, if you want to keep it for a long time. These cold still roads are all we'll ever find in memories made. Hey friends, Robert here with Coastal GX out at South Padre Island with Sandy and my wifey behind the camera. She's going to be helping me out with this little video that I wanted to share with uh, you all. Just to give you an update, it's been five years with Sandy. I've had her since she was bone stock. Just a little beauty of a little truck, you know, when I bought it, one owner vehicle. And uh, so I want to update you as to what some of the things that I've added, some of the things that are good about it, some things that I'm not too happy about uh, when it comes to this particular uh, 2012 GX 460. So some of the things, let's start with the front, I guess. You know, uh, we still have this Iron Man bumper that I added. Uh, as you all know, I'm very much inspired by Australian design, Australian builds, the old school Australian builds that you can imagine. So what did I do? Why did I choose this bumper? One, it was economical. Two, the functionality about it. It is still designed in Australia, built in China, designed in Australia, but the materials are just great, okay? Uh, I brought it out here so many times, it hasn't failed me. Uh, I haven't seen any like nasty rust spots or anything, you know, going on like that. Uh, it's very robust. It is, uh, it works with your, um, with your uh, airbags. So it's, it's a very good bumper. Obviously I needed this bumper right here so that it could, you know, have some clearance down in the bottom, all right? You know, the regular uh, vehicles, they are so low. They have this, all these aerodynamic things, plastic, all this stuff down there. It's not good, you know, you can, especially out here at the beach, you know, you can hit anything, you know. So, of course, the vehicle was designed more with the beach, in mind you know but of course you're going to find some things on the build that are probably better suited you know like the rock sliders better suited to go off-roading you know big band park you know in some other places like that with this particular bumper i was able to fit these ox beam lights on it okay they've been on this for a long time now and if you can tell as you can tell the, there's no rust, there's no anything, and they've been exposed to the elements many, many times, and uh, none of that. The Iron Man uh, winch is hidden right there, back in there, okay? And that one's still working just fine um, with the little uh, remote box up here, and uh, that is, it, it, I mean, it, it's, it gives me what I need, right? You know, everything is perfect, synthetic rope, Everything is fine down there. You got that Factor 55 uh, piece of equipment there, the little rope guard as well. And uh, so that's here in the front. As you can tell, you can see right here, I have this little uh, air chuck right here from uh, ARB, connected to my dual ARB. I ran the pipe all the way over here to the front. I just wanted an area that was very convenient for me to air up. This has been great. So some of the, I'm kind of sharing some of the things. These are some of the things that I really love about the truck. I, I, I love the setup. I love what it does, um, the function and how inexpensive it was. And uh, so I think it's really cool to have this. Uh, other cool things that I have here, all right, is the Linson Solar. Uh, and, and all of these things, guys, if you want to know more about this, I have videos about this uh, on my channel. You can, you're welcome to go and check them out. It has a lot more detail. But this thing still works to this very day. People ask me all the time, is it worth having this thing? Absolutely. And you, if you pair it the way I paired it with my uh, lithium-ion battery and the fridge from Isco, it, it is... It works great, okay? Um, I mean, it, it's, yeah, it does its job. 
It hasn't come out, as you can see, I had sealed it around here. And, uh, you know, so everything is, is perfect, you know. My truck is never inside of the garage. It's always out exposed in the elements. And so it's, it's pretty good, you know. Uh, even the wrap, you know, from Velocity Wraps, you know, they did, they did a great job. Saludos to Joseph out there, all right. Let's move on down here. Um, still have my recovery gear, all right. And if you can see the suspension, the suspension ha has been switched to Old Man Emu. And I went with uh, uh, some heavy, some heavy uh, suspension, heavy springs, front and rear because of the added weight. I used to have, if you see the videos but at the beginning of, of this channel, I had uh, built it with the Iron Man um, suspension. Okay, it's not that the brand was bad, all right? It's just that the, it was the wrong setup. Now, why did I switch to Old Man Emu? Why did I switch? Okay, completely because, you know, the rust was getting to those components, all right? To some of those components. And it was the wrong setup for the truck. When I put it on, the truck wasn't as heavy. It didn't have as many things on it. So I had to make adjustments. So we went with the heaviest settings and now it rides great. Now it's set up properly. And of course, it was a good opportunity to switch over. Once again, economy in mind, it was just the right way to go for me, for my application. You know, going with Old Man Emu was the better choice, all right? Tires, perfect. Tires have been perfect for me, all right? You know, these are the BF Goodrich KO2s, 285.75 on 17s from Method. Perfect. As you can see right now, they look low because the tire pressure looks low because it is low. Because when I come out here, I lower the pressure. Everybody knows that. I'm a big uh, advocate for that. So that is what I did. Um, now, let me show you right here. Uh, still running the old rigid. Uh, uh, ditch lights and then I went with this uh, Motorola ghost antenna right here ran that over there as well into and I uh, did upgrade my radio as well and uh, it's in there I put a little speaker because I'm a little deaf you know so I went with that uh, still have my weather tech um, mats that really help protect the vehicle but if you take a look right here, honey, yeah, you can see this. No rust issues. No rust on this vehicle at all. You go around. The body is perfect. And uh, underneath, we had some issues with some rust getting on some of the hardware, like the bolts and stuff like that, on um, parts of the brakes. All of that, all of that was taken care of by my friend DJ at D&J Wheel, Wheel Alignment in McAllen. They took care of me with that, and uh, they've done such a wonderful job. Truck is holding up perfectly, okay? I did, however, I got smarter this time around and started smearing, you know, surface shield on it, you know, like fluid film as well that can work for it. Protect your components. If I would have known about that from the very beginning, trust me, I would have, I would have you know, done that religiously. These are some of the things that people don't share with you, okay? If you love your vehicle, if you want to keep it for a long time, please do something about, about it and protect the undercarriage, especially the undercarriage, you know, from getting all this rust. I was able to save the vehicle, able to get it, you know, with, with a friend of some, uh, uh, with my friend's help, but it came at a cost, okay? But, hey, now we know better, right? So uh, let's move on. Oh, I'll tell you what I don't like. This thing right here, eh, you know, it's cheap. It was like 40 bucks, so it's not a big deal. Um, but it has like a siren and, and uh, the speaker sucks, man. You, you try to, like, it's supposed to be a PA. It's not, it really doesn't work that well, you know? I mean, it's supposed to be like a PA. It doesn't work. The aux beam uh, eight channel, sw the, the switch panel right here, Oh my goodness, man. This is awesome. 
this is awesome. Every single channel is, uh, <laughs> is filled and every single thing still works, okay? Every single light that I have attached here, the wiring, and yes, I did the, the wiring myself, so I'm very proud of that. You know, everything has held up perfectly. Works all the time, never had an issue, no flickering, nothing weird like that. Um, one thing I wanted to share with you all that I found out, and I don't know if you guys are GX owners, if you guys have experienced this, please comment down below. I did not know why it was that sometimes when it would rain or it was like really damp and cold, uh, I would have issues putting the vehicle. Once I turned on Sandy and I put the vehicle in drive or I try to put it in reverse or whatever, it, it, it was really stiff. So I thought, well, man, I wonder if maybe the cables are rusting out or maybe it needs some grease. So I, I actually took it apart and, you know, and, and I fixed some things in there. I tried to add grease and lithium grease and all that. No, it, it didn't help anything. Guess what it was? You guys are going to freak out with this one. It was a new battery. So I put an AGM battery in it. Forget about it. It works perfect. Everything was fixed. But you, that's weird, right? I mean, just the battery. I switched the battery and no more problem. All right. So that's one of the, you know, things that I didn't like about this. But I, I thought it was, it was something wrong with the truck. It was just a battery, so fix the battery, guys. Just pay attention to that. Moving on. Oh, by the way, the roof rack, all right? Roof rack for Front Runner, Slimline 2, still works. I have my, I don't know how to explain it, but love-hate relationship with it. Love that it works perfectly and all that aluminum but in some of the components that are steel you know you'll see a little surface rust right here i just wish they had better i wish they had better hardware okay on some of these things you know and of course you know the salt water is not like splashing up here this is just from the sea dew that attaches you know to it uh, these are also ox beam right here the light works great you know, as you can see right here, it's still, this is some of the paint that's coming off of it, but it's, there's no moisture inside of it. Everything works great, okay? Now, uh, looking here at the side, oh my goodness, man. I have to tell you about this. I still love this very much. I know, people think it's gimmicky or whatever. I've heard comments, it's too expensive for what it is. Hell no. I love this so much. It makes, it gives me a little, you know, I mean, it, it provides some sort of uti utilitarian uh, purpose for this window right here. And as you can see, I have my first aid kit, lights, you know, the winch, um, the winch uh, controller right here, the remote winch controller, extra lights, of course, in case of a fire immediate access to your fire extinguisher instead of opening the door or whatever the hell you just anyone comes over here hits the button there you go you know get yourself fixed up and on the other side i have another one also and uh that one has access to my recovery gear like uh or the, the the kinetic rope you know from rhino usa you know and um some of the soft shackles as well all that immediate access. So even if your vehicle is, you know, bottomed out and, and you have, you can't open the doors or whatever, not to worry, hit the button, easy access to all the stuff that you need. Okay. Um, rock sliders. Uh, what can I tell you? They're more like step, you know, a, a step for me because I don't, I don't go rock crawling or doing any of that stuff. At least not yet, not, not real stuff like that. One day maybe, you know, but uh, for what it is, eh, it's there, but they're great, okay? They've held up great, I love them. Now let's move on over here to this side and let's talk about 
the rear Dobinson's dual swing out bumper. Okay, let me show you here. This one also, love hate relationship. Some things I love about it, some things I don't really love about it, and I'll tell you what it is. Okay, so this thing, you see this? Some of this powder coating started just simply peeling off. Okay, so I have to make sure that I have, you know, some sort of, um, uh, you know, coating on it. I use the surface shield as well. Same thing here. You know, some of the powder coating started, uh, you know, disappearing. So I know it looks kind of greasy, oily. That's because of the surface shield, you know, protectant that I put on it. Okay. Um, yes, the rear, rear camera works. Okay, the light for the, the license plate works as well. But once again, you know, there's some rust, not rust issues. But yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, surface rust right here, as you can see. If you come around around the, this side over here, you know, you see the other swing out as well. Um, and, uh, but yeah, there's no, no rust issues, nothing along those lines, nothing bad. I like it. Uh, it's just, you know, once again, you know, more stuff to move out of the way to access and check this out to access the uh, inside. And let me tell you a little bit about this. This I love. This I'm not so sure of. And I'll explain why. Okay. Once again, it's all the job, you know, whatever is made for you. Okay. Whatever works for you. Some people think this is wonderful because, hey, you always have access. You know, I have my cooking wear. You know, I have, you know, my uh, power tools, you know, <clears throat> steaks, whatever the hell I need, you know, zip ties, cups, uh, paper towels, just, you know, anything you need right here, tethering things. You know, I also carry, like I said, you know, more of my uh, recovery tools, you know, my, you know, to air up, you know, my, my my uh tires and uh more ropes you know more stuff like that that i might need uh seal puncture seal you know kit right here because you know there's sharp stuff out here at the beach um but i also shoot video i also use my truck for other stuff i went ahead and i removed the third row seat i have no regrets about that i love that look at how much space all of this space right here you know, that I was able to get, you know, um, and I have a video on that, you know, where I just kind of redid my, my uh, uh, platform here and it worked great for me. Um, but now that I have this permanently installed, I can't carry anything, you know, I, it's very limited what I can carry or I have to, you know, take out my fridge in order to carry more stuff. What kind of stuff, like camera equipment stuff, you know, uh, if I want to go take cardboard boxes to the recycling bin you know I can't fit that stuff in here you know it's just very limited also um, I don't care about it because I'm always listening to music while I'm driving but there is a squeaky sound from these you know um, from these drawers from Iron Man that come out and you know that you can always hear the little squeaking in there and it can be a little annoying little annoying um, let's come around here this way but again, you know, the truck in its entirety, it's great. My Colite AirPod, uh, um, AirPods, my Colite Light Pods that I, you see right here, they work great, man. They work great. They still function the way they're supposed to. Love that. Um, the water tank that I have up there, some people have criticized. They, hey, man, that's too heavy. That's, that's you know, going to weigh you down, la, 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 all that water. I don't know, man. Once again... If, if you guys understood, you know, coming out here to the beach, how cool it is to have 11 gallons of water up there, gravity fed, you know, down here, you know, so you could just, you know, rinse off and rinse off a bunch of stuff. I love it. I, 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 I mean, it, it's great for me. Okay. Once I'm at home, I go ahead and empty the, the tank. You know, if I'm not, if I'm driving around town, I don't want to have all this water on top, but if I'm coming over here. Yeah, man, I, I really like it a lot, you know. Um, let's see here. 
the, uh, we talked about the bumper. I still have my, you know, my uh, uh, recovery points in the front. And of course, right here in the back, that's courtesy of Rhino USA. Love their products. Let's come around here. Oh, I got to tell you something, man. The Trasheroo, Jesus. I had to get a new Trasheroo because this fool didn't know that this little band up here, okay, little strap is necessary to kind of like hold it in so that it doesn't sag and go down. Guys, I was driving. I came to the island. This thing was down here sagging like a, like a diaper, all right? And let me show you what happened. So just imagine the trasheroo down here, right by the muffler, the muffler, the heat from the muffler started heating up the trasheroo and it started going up in flames. The, I was on the highway doing like 70 miles an hour. Some guy starts honking and he's like, yo, something's wrong. He's just pointing to the back. I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? I was like, hey, you must, must be something important. Pulled off to the side. Yep, it was smoldering. All right? Dangerous. So ruined, ruined the whole damn trash room. Had to get a new one. But now I learned my lesson. And now I always make sure that it is properly attached to the rear of the spare tire. All right? Uh, let's move on this way. Again, you know, I still have my little you know, <laughs> rusty... Uh, shovel it still works still does its job yes my uh, recovery boards from uh, max tracks you know gotta love them no regrets there and still more of uh, these light pods that I have here on the side they do great and of course you know the other Velox off-road uh, wing that I have here easy access to my recovery rope to my soft shackles to uh, also my, um, say you get uh, the, the battery charger, jump starter, you know, all the stuff that you need to have easy access to where you're not depending on anything mechanical. I mean, uh, you're not depending on anything electrical, okay? So that you can get to it immediately without having to like, you know, hit the, hey, I forgot my keys or, you know, something's wrong with the electrical system. You can have access to it easily. Um, let's take a look at the back seat here. Uh, everything is pretty much meticulous. The truck, you know, there's nobody uses the back seat. My friend, shout out to my friend Gabriel in El Paso. That guy is insane with his build. He removed all of the seats, guys. Okay. Third row, second row. It's just, you know, my friend and his wife, Claudia, that's, that's, that's it. You know, I mean, the, the rest of the truck is, is just 100% cargo stuff. But he his build is special for him. And that's what I'm talking about. It all depends on what you like, what works for you. I still have my, my seats. Rare when I use them, true. But if I do want to carry some passengers with me, I know that my truck is still a five-passenger uh, um, vehicle. So I'm happy about that. Uh, no issues with anything. I mean, the leather is, is intact. Everything is intact. Um, so the truck is well behaved, does well. Let's see anything here. Same thing, you know, seats, perforated seats, cooled, heated. Everything is fine, just like a luxury vehicle should. And, uh, so yeah, yeah, I, I really love my truck. There is nothing wrong with that. The infamous cup holders, they suck, hey man. Cup holders, no mas no, I hate them. Uh, yeah, but everybody already knows that, all right? Yeah, I hate the cup holders. But uh, yeah, I mean the truck rides like a dream, smooth, uh, no brake issues, uh, everything works the way it's supposed to, you know, perfect. I can't, I can't be happier with this vehicle. Very dependable. Just 
turned 92,000 miles on it, okay? So that's where we're rolling with it. What about the, uh, the snorkel here? Yeah, snorkel's a snorkel. Nothing's happened, you know, it's still there. You know, it hasn't come out loose, or I haven't had any issues with anything. You know, it's, yeah, it is what it is. It's, it's perfect, you know. Um, do you need one? Hell no, you don't need a snorkel. But isn't it cool? Come on, man. You got to have a freaking snorkel. Come on. Um, what else can I tell you? I think, I think that pretty much sums it up. Uh, the only mechanical, real mechanical issue that I had with this truck, and it kind of seems to be the norm for GX460s, Tundras, some other Sequoias, I've heard it on, uh, on other Lexus products, Toyota products, uh, is the valley plate leak, and I address it in a little video. Uh, that was the only mechanical thing that it's had where I've had to take care of that, okay? But uh, yeah, that is, it's not about the abuse of the vehicle. It's not about this or that. It, I think, I think. It's an age thing. So once your vehicle starts getting up in age, not mileage, age. So, because 92,000 miles, that's not a lot, especially for this type, this type of vehicle. But, hey, what ends up happening? Yeah, you know, you, you do get, um, you do get uh, uh, this issue with the valley leak plate. Starts leaking coolant, and you normally see this with some pink residue. Anyway, I have a whole video on it. Once again, you can go and check it out for yourself. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I want to hear about your rigs down below. How much do you uh, love or hate your GX460? Go ahead and share with me in the comments. Love you all. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, like, and all that good stuff. Bye.